there. They're not doing no, anything same. special. Uh, team management here, I give them a D plus. I think this is the reason why this team isn't uh, winning more games. You have a, a major injury with Charles. I understand that. Yeah. But if you're not getting out there We've prior, all had injuries. To, prior to Tuesday at 11.59 p.m., putting in those waiver claims for those players that are in the top echelon, your team's not going to get any better, and it's going to stay down here in the D range. You're a D-plus, King. I got him as a D, and I think this is the quite possibly the worst team in fantasy this year. Obviously the worst team, but maybe ever. This team is horrible. They won, they won, they lost four in a row. Uh, the talent, they're at a D-plus. Their wins, uh, I have them at a, a D-minus. Ugly, ugly uh, wins, ugly losses. Points. He's at a C plus for points. It's a one redeeming thing is that he was able to put up points at some point, and at eight hundred and ninety eight thirty four, that puts him in a position where if he does scrape scrape together a couple more wins, he might have the tiebreaker. Team management, I give him a C minus as well. Uh, he's been somewhat active on the waiver wire, but uh, the moves he's made have just been horrible. <laughs> I know. Number eight lunches for wimps. I got C's across the board for talent, wins, and points. I think he's got a few star players talent-wise, but then he's got some major fall-off. Huge. I, mean, I think uh, at last check, we saw that he had three defenses and two kickers on a 14-team roster. Something's going on there. Any, any team that's carrying three defenses at any time during a season is going to get a C-minus for team management for, management for me. He wasn't active on the waiver wire early. He was getting late to those early waiver claims. He finally got his act together in the last week, but a little too late as far as the mid-month report is concerned. And he lost that pivotal game to the Warriors. He gets a C overall. So that team spot, management last, is glaring. Yeah, glaring huge, huge problem. He's uh, currently hugging and clinging on to that eighth spot in the playoffs. He is in the dance at this moment. Right. But I, I gave him a C as well. I mean, uh, you know, talent, he's got the C+, he's got the studs. We all know that. He's, we've been saying that every week. This team's got some yep. studs. He's just got to plug the holes. Uh, wins, you know, he's just, he's right there with the middle of the pack. Yeah. Points, I give him a C. He's got 874. It's not going to knock your socks off, but it's not horrible. Uh, team management, I gave him a C. He's not making the moves, but at least he's getting in there trying to do something uh, at the last minute, but he needs to be there, I there at the beginning of the week. He needs to be there Sunday freaking night saying, I need this player. This guy's living in a, in a town home with a two-car garage, two kids, and uh, in a buttoned-up uh, short sleeve shirt. Well, I thought This guy's just happy with the status quo right now. Yep. He's across the board. Let's see something out of these guys. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Either he's doing that or he's chasing them up. <laughs> Around the pool. All the time. Number seven, Morning Wood. A, a team that baffles me more than any team on this list. Maybe besides Redonkey. Unbelievable. Which just, no. I can't figure out. Morning Wood has B plus talent. He drafted well, probably the second best draft after what Steve Smith has been doing. Steve Smith is. Fred Jackson is just unbelievable, and this was probably a sixth round pick for him. Uh, wins, he's at a C. He's has a below average, uh, he's below the Mendoza line, as yeah, we say no, there. He's got three wins on the year. Points, he's a B plus. I mean, he got burned early with in, in the year to to Mason Keith Colby when he scored yeah, 107 yeah. points. Tough losses. So we know that, that, that some of these games have been tough, but he continues to put up points and lose. Is he quitting? I mean, he put up well, points early, and that gets me to team management. I flunk him. I give him a fat F. I think he hasn't made any moves to improve his team. He's only acted on the waiver wire when he's had to. The fact that Mercedes Lewis has been in his lineup for seven weeks is almost grounds for dismissal from post. Yeah, yeah. Something's going on in the Morning Wood camp. We're not really sure what it is, but if that team doesn't clean up its act, it's going to be the laughing stock of the league. Yeah, we'd like to hear from this person on the chat board, see where his head is at, and to respond to these allegations because I have him at a C minus. I'm not. Uh, I, I want to be a believer in this team. I put my my personal reputation as a prognosticator. On this team, I put him in my top five, and the only thing he wants to do is shit on my word, on my gratitude. I give him a C plus for talent. Again, you know, uh, he's got to work that waiver wire. 
C for wins, bad bad wins, bad losses, and uh, C for points. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, a B for points. He's got 970 points. So if he wins a couple more games, he's got the opportunity to break all tiebreakers, and you know it's going to come down to tiebreakers at right. the end of the season. Uh, but for team management, I give him a D. I mean, this guy's made four moves all year long. Four freaking moves. We're a game. That's not going to get it done. That's not going to get it done. I think we agree. Overall, a grade is a C. Uh, no, I have him at a C minus. Oh, so I just, right. you know, I don't mean to cut hair, but when you're not uh, focused on watering that garden, you know, making it happen, tending to those plants, you know, what kind of fantasy manager are you? How do you, you feed know? your horses? Yeah. <laughs> Get out, <laughs> blow out the oats. Feed them you know? Uh, number six, peaceful warriors. I mean, just the, in the middle there, they hang around. Uh, you know, he, you think he's up to something every week because he knows how to win. I mean, the peaceful warriors have proved it over the years. Talent-wise, I give him a C plus. I called out the best draft here on on our first show. You, you, you certainly and did. That has proven to not be true. Uh, <clears throat> The draft picks have been overrated and they've underachieved. That combination gives you a C plus in talent. Wins are to B minus or four and three. They've been scraping out victories inconsistently, I might add. Points, they're at a C, kind of a middle of the road team. Yep. Scoring when they need to. Team management, I give him a B. I mean he's I think he's third in waiver wire moves. He's right there with the Boone Humper and the Mason Key Colby. Twenty seven moves. He's active. He's always looking to find that gem. To make his team better, he's plugged and played. He got through his bye weeks. I mean, yeah, he's four and three, and his bye weeks are basically over. Yeah, you know, I I do take a little bit of issue with uh, your view of uh, Peaceful Warriors draft. I know the Peaceful Warriors uh, likes to uh, talk highly of his draft, but uh, I think anyone with half a, half a fantasy brain could see that this draft was made up of paper tigers and old skeletons and. Uh, for that reason, you know, I think his talent is at a C, maybe C minus. Just uh, ugly, and without that DeMarco Murray pickup of last week, uh, probably a lot worse. Uh, his wins, I do give him a beat. You know, he's four and three. The guy is uh, uh, is in the mix. He just got to keep on winning, winning ugly if he has to, and pray that his horses uh, put up the points that they should. But even those projections. <clears throat> Huge exaggerations. His overall points, I give a C, a 901.72. That's middling. You know, that's, uh, you know, get into the dance, but he's going to need a lot more production. And team management, I give him a B. He's made 27 moves. Maybe a lot of them were just uh, fickle, try him out, you know, kick the tires. But mm -hmm. yeah, at least he's active. I give the overall grade a, a B minus. B minus, yeah. <laughs> My final grade on the on the peaceful of Warriors is a C plus. Yeah. I think they've done enough, not enough. Had some poor draft picks not paying out. C plus. He works the waiver wire the way uh, you know um, um, a slut works the bar. You know, just what, what, you know, twenty seven moves. <laughs> <is> well, <laughs> unbelievable. And he had such a great draft. Well, who's next? The goods. Yep, the goods at number five. Uh, you know, talent, they had a decent draft. Their, their wide receiver core is probably the best in the FLF. Mm -hmm. So I give them a B minus. I don't think the running backs are there. Talent wise, B minus. Wins, they're to B minus. I mean, like the Peace Warriors, they've won four games. Uh, it's good, not great. That's thus the name. Points at a B minus, kind of middle to upper road there. Uh, and team management, I give him a B. I mean, he had that injury to Andre Johnson, grab Marquez Colston. Mm -hmm. He's got that receiver core four deep now with guys that can score a lot of points. And he's always plugging and playing some of those key guys. He's won four games. I give him, uh, I give him that B for team management. Overall, a B minus. Yeah, I think about the same. I, I give him an A minus in team management. I mean, this guy's only made nine moves. But they've been effective moves, right? And you know, you get a, a little extra prop for doing that. Overall points, they give him a C plus. He's only put up nine ten point three zero. Uh, you think with four three, you would put up more points than that. Uh, his wins, he you know four and three. I give him a B. You know, that's gonna as long as he keeps one foot or, or from the pack, he's in the dance. Right. 
Talent, I give him a B-minus. He's uh, got some dang good receivers.